what an amazing experience. I hadn't done any mural work for the last 40 years. I had done quite a lot in my early teens through my early 20s. But if you had told me five or six years ago I'd be doing mural work again, I have said you were crazy because I hadn't done any artwork for 35 to 40 years before that time. So this definitely would have been a stretch. As I said in the first episode of this mural series, I wanted to have Kelly skateboards out here in the hallway and Kelly wanted to have a string kiosk for his guitar string timelines. He was gonna paint the whole thing white and wood strips painted black for the skateboards and a black cork board for the strings. All of that would have been great, but something inside me was like, do a painting, do it, do it big. And when I went to Kelly and said, let's do a mural, he was like, finally, seeing some other muralist work on YouTube created a desire in me to do my own. Especially Kipto's Geisha and Dragon mural and 1000 Studio mural. I consult Kelly with almost every piece of art I do. It is so helpful to have someone that knows where you're going with a piece without having to be told and has studied enough artwork to be able to discuss integrity or see what's missing. But this is the first time he and I have ever done a piece together. I did Home Rock and the landscape. Kelly and I both did the ribbon section together and he finished up the hallway with the macro of Homer's kimono. The macro and the door dressings really pulled this whole leg of the hall together. It incorporated Homer's color palette without distracting from her as the focal point of a mural. And it created visual interest and harmony when viewed from any of the rooms off the hallway. We had planned this, but when it worked, we were honestly blown away. We used gold and so flat for most of the mural to avoid glare on the artwork. In addition to black and titanium white, the four basic colors we chose were cadmium red dark, red violet, yellow green, and permanent yellow deep. Surprisingly, these four colors provided all the colors we needed from Homer's skin tones to the hues and shades in the ribbon. So flat loads the brush well and allows for beautifully consistent strokes. It has good coverage and pretty good legs per dip which means you don't have to reload as often, especially when you add a few drops of retardant. Any mixture with other paints will leave some degree of shine. The few places we did use a mix, we had to paint over it using Just So Flat. The last thing I'd like to share on the topic of mixing is that you can extend your paint with Liquitex Matte Medium, Golden Matte Medium, and golden super matte medium if you're not concerned with retaining flatness. Also mixing these extenders in can and will cause translucency the more added. Once again, for a flat result, I recommend only adding a few drops of retardant and doing your painting. We acquired the Simply Simmons number 30 flats and a number 60 filbert a few months back because they seemed really unique. Come to find out, they are actually acrylic mural brushes. How fortuitous. We supplemented with Altrex Mix Synthetics number 4, 10, and 18 flats, number 10 and 16 filberts, and number 2 and 10 rounds, and a couple of Windsor Newton Universities number 2 and 5 rounds. These others weren't bad at all, but the Simply Simmons were simply way better. 
When I do my next mural, I will definitely add to the Simply Simmons family. We learned the advantages of using taping techniques to lay out clean, exact lines in the painting of the macro of the kimono and creating special effects and shadows more efficiently in the ribbon section. The most important thing I learned personally was to stop being afraid. Once I got over my fear of making a mistake and started painting for real, everything changed. I did find myself falling into it from time to time and literally had to yell at myself out loud to paint, just paint. So let me caution you not to give in to not painting or not drawing because you think it has to be perfect. Just do it and have fun and do more and have more fun. Completing this in the 30 days was an incredible challenge. I feel like we met that challenge. I truly hope you enjoyed this journey as much as we did, and I can't wait for our next adventure together. Thank you for joining us here at Why Paint and Pastels. Please subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll see you right back here on the first Friday of every month. Check out my website and use the links below for any art supplies you might need. But most importantly, get out there and keep doing art because life's a medium.